Well, howdy, everybody. Welcome to Saloon Simulator. I think that's our saloon in the distance there. I have uh, just arrived here. I guess we've just got off the train. It's, uh... Don't know where it's gone, but we must have got off it. And we've arrived at this, uh, what looks like an abandoned town in the Wild West. Looks like everything is closed and shut down. I think we're taking over the uh, local saloon. Whether we'll have any customers or not, something just fell off there. This place is, uh, yeah, this is a literal ghost town. Or is it? Somebody over there. That's a bit creepy. Time to use some muscle and make my way inside. I wonder who that is. Just keeps staring at me. That's how people used to work back then, though, isn't it? And you see all those Western films. Just stare from afar. All right. Let's see what it's like inside. Actually, not too bad. Not too bad. I've seen worse. Use the trash bin. You have to collect trash in the book here. Press F. Tab would be part of your inventory. Cool. Nice. Let's just... So it's going to be one of these types of games where you have to clear up first and then do up. We've been here before. Well, not here, but in this type of game. If you do notice any... Um, like screen tearing or any graphical issues, by the way. I would love to be able to change them, but I can't. I can't even change the volume in this game. There is no options menu. It is blurred out. It is even blurred out in the main menu. There is absolutely no options at the moment in this game. I have seen a little bit of screen tearing, but it's not unplayable, so we're rolling with it. I also need to picking up some stuff on the bar. Twenty out of oh, it's down here. Twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, and twenty-five. Nice. Pick up the broom and clean the dirty floor. The broom. Where's the dirty floor over here? Oh, nice, it's an old-fashioned broom as well. Period broom. How much is this? That money? Cash. Four cents. Don't know where that came from. Wow, I think everybody would start sweeping if this happened every time you swept, wouldn't it? Oh, no money that time. Arrange the chairs. He won't stop going. He's still sweeping away here. Arrange the tables, okay. Okay, right, stop. There we go. Okay, well, let's uh, let's arrange the tables then. I have one there. Seems easy enough. Oops, picked it up again. I wonder what's through here. Of course, I can't go through here. What are these, iron curtains? Not allowed to see through the other side there. Maybe that's coming later in the, uh, in the game or, or later in this demo. Nice, it's looking better in here already. Friends and foes. Ooh, who's this guy? Ooh, he's whistling at us. Blueberry guests. Your saloon is attracting a variety of visitors. Engage the conversations. Press F. Take orders. Yes, because you can take orders in this game. I believe we are going to be serving behind the bar at some point. But this guy's whistling us over. Do you fancy me? Outlaw. Fine job setting up. Butterfingers? Why are you calling me Butterfingers? I must say. Right, blah, 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 blah. Yep, okay. No, the decor was already here. An agreement with Uncle? What is this? Red Dead Redemption 2? I have no agreement with Uncle. 
Why should I trust you? Why would we trust you? Call me W, and as long as you're in the saloon, we're tied together like tumbleweeds. Oh, boy. Uncle knows what's going on here. Hears and sees everything, wasting our time and follow me. He is Uncle out of Red Dead Redemption 2, then. Let's follow W. Where are you taking me, W? I didn't realise we had all this upstairs space. Like a hotel up here. A bit messy. Follow W to the... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. What have you done? That's a fresh corpse. No exaggeration with the freshness. He's been lying here for about two hours. Why was he in here? How did he get in? If we get rid of the body, there won't be any talk of murder. He's, <laughs> he's lying dead, of course. And you're just going to leave me to find a rag? So we have to clear up this guy's murder. I just run the saloon. Why are we doing this? Now we're a murder cleanup crew. C to crouch and wipe off the blood. Lovely. F to clean. Clean that blood. I like how the rag is getting uh, soaked. It's actually getting soaked with blood, look. It's now horrible red colour. At least it's spick and span in here. Ooh, money. Mortician help. It's picking up the body. Take him to the mortician. Okay. Do that in a second. No, I want this money. F to collect. Did he leave anything else laying around? Doesn't look like it. Are they, are they bags of cash, do we think? What are they? Did he rob the bank? Grab. Okay, let's take this guy to the mortician. To mind your head. Ooh, took his head out. And again. Move, W. Alright, where's the mortician? Over there. He's a bit ragdoll, isn't he? Look at his arms. Make sure I don't drop him. I've got a body for you. He's, uh, he's fresh. Just two hours old. You want a sniff? Have a sniff. See? Two hours. He's fresh. What are you going to give me for him? Nothing? No? Do you want him in here, do you? In here? Shake him around a bit? I think you'll have to tuck his arms in, but he's in. Well, I don't... Yeah. Well, it's not my fault. I just got told to move this body. I didn't have a choice. I'm not working with W, I'm just, uh, I, d I just run the bar. Well, that's true, as long as we're not in the coffin, I guess. Ooh, there's some wanted posters over there. Can we do bounties? Wanted, $850 is that? John Doe, Smith Anderson. That'd be cool if they, uh... Ooh, this guy had a, uh... This guy had a bad time, didn't he? How long has he been laying here? Why haven't you put him in the ground? Literal customer right here. Oh, there's a church over there as well. What else have we got? Doctors? This is just the Undertakers. There's something else going around. Here. I don't know what that is. Bathhouse. Literally nothing else in this town. I don't know how we're uh, going to make any money here. There's no customers. Yes, it's done. New job. You'll hear me whistle at the window at the side terrace. That's when I need you. Okay. So he just whistles and we come running. a stone fence drink. 
I don't know how to make a stone fence, but hopefully we'll find out. Is that more money that's laying around? Who just leaves this amount of cash just laying around? More down here. Check what drink the customer has ordered. He's ordered a stone fence. Anything goes wrong, you can restart the whole process by pressing there. Okay, so he wants a drink, so glass. We need two ounces of whiskey. And then we pour it with the space bar, so we need two ounces. Oh, bang on, nice. Okay. One ounce of cider. Ice. There's ice. There's ice. And he wants it stirred and not shaken. How's your drink? That's what I needed. I'll be damned, that's good. I'm right, it's good. Okay. Don't worry, we're right out of supplier. Oh, that's good. So we've got a supplier. Alright. See you later, the W. So he's just going to whistle when he needs us. So we're already in for some shaky ground then, because we're now working with an outlaw, but... Literally just arrived. Open the saloon. Okay, we're open. You're the only person in town. Would you like to come for a drink? Oh no, there are more people. Look. Coming out of the woodwork. This guy's... Look at him. He must be an alcoholic. I've never seen anybody run so fast to an open bar. What can I get you? Slow down. Wait, 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 wait. You want a shot of whiskey? I can get you a shot of whiskey. I can do that. How do we do it? Uh, there we go. Shot of whiskey. So you want shot glass. And then you want whiskey. Two ounces. Ooh, I gave you 2.1. Happy birthday. That's all you want. How's that? Is that good? Oh, I think he's happy. I think he's happy with it. What can I get you? A shot of gin. I can do that. Shot of gin. Two ounces. Hang on. Finish. There you go. Excellent. I feel like I should have a little rag on me now and start cleaning the bar while they tell me their troubles. Nine cents? Is that what we're selling it for? Mind you, this is the Wild West. Trader. Marky W was talking about... Oh, so he's the guy we buy supplies from them. Uh-huh. So he can get the stuff we need. Go to the cash register. Interact. Okay. Just grab this money off of here before anybody else takes it. He gave us 14 cents for that. Are we supposed to be ordering something here? How do you know what you've got already? Go to the cash register and order one bottle of whiskey, one bottle of gin. Okay. Uh, one bottle of gin, one bottle of whiskey. Order. Confirm. Nice. Journal. Characters. Oh, wow, so everything that you know about people gets collected in here, then, and all the quests that you're on. Nice. But I don't know how much stuff we have just laying around the place. I know you're going to be my favourite customer. We're going to make quite a team making money hand over fist, are we now? Okay, yeah, we, we need to get back to work. What's troubling you, Jack? Just need a real refreshment. Soft spot for gin. One gin for Nervous Jack. Okay. Alright, Nervous Jack, you can have 
This will sort your nerves right out. There you go. Three ounces of gin. This will get you sorted. That'll get rid of those nerves. Drink those problems away. Serve a few drinks. There's no customers to serve any drinks to. I get a feeling that does this need wiping down? This looks really dirty. Okay, new customers are coming. What would you like? A stone fence. Kind of know how to make one of those. I'm glad it still comes up at the bottom what we need to do here. Drink glass. So we need two ounces of whiskey. One ounce of cider. Look how happy they are at that. Wow. It's like they've never seen a man make a drink before. It's party time in the Wild West. Party like it's 1899, sir. What do you want? Shot of whiskey? Shot of gin? Gin. Uh, shot glass. Gin. Two ounces of gin. Could do with an employee. They're queuing up and I'm not fast enough to serve. That's all he wants. What do you want? Whiskey sour. Ooh, a new drink. Drink glass. Uh, what else do we need? We need four ounces of whiskey. Four ounces? Wow. It's a full glass. Slice of lemon. How happy he is. He's incredible. Really loves his whiskey, this guy. Ice, stir it together with a spoon. Where am I getting this ice from? Surely I don't have a freezer. Where are we getting this from? How can I have ice in the Wild West? I don't think we have electricity. Are these things running on electric or are they all candles? They look like candles. They're not even powered in. How on earth are we getting ice? This guy's got a question mark with him. Biscuits in the skillet. Take an order for a meal. Ooh. We're cooking. He wants a hard biscuit stew. Which in England is a totally different thing than what you want. Okay, so grab the part and take it to the stove. Sorry, we're making biscuits in the skillet. I don't think he's talking about custard creams. So we want to put beef in here, did it say? One piece of beef. I don't have... Where's the... Um, are we doing this wrong? How much beef do I put in here? I've got no recipe. Uh, D for next step. Oh, no recipe selected. Okay, do we have to select a recipe then? Here we go. Yeah, I want the hard biscuit stew. There we go. So we've got one beef in the pot. Two crunchy hard tacks. What, what are they? Are they the biscuits that I imagine? Two carrots. And some cayenne pepper. Do we just shake it or do we drop it in? Oh, there we go. No, no, you shake it. Look at that. Um... Okay, well, he's got a little bit more cayenne than he wanted. Uh, press spacebar or enter when you hit the green. Okay. Oh, now we're cooking. Look at this. Nice. 13 seconds cooking time price. We get an extra three cents from the combo. We can make 10 portions. Nice. Take it to the serving area. A plate or a dish. Fill it. Looks tasty. Give it to the customer. Sorry for the wait. I had to cook it straight from fresh. It's such a meal, I can hit the trail again on a full belly. Yes, you can. How much you pay? Do you want a spoon? Why are you eating it with your fingers? That's got to be. That's boiling hot. That is a stew straight from the fire. And you're just scooping it with your hands. What are your hands made of? 
pretty sure we had spoons. In fact, whenever this is set, I need to buy some cutlery. What do you want? Stone fence? I know how to make one of them. That is a glass. Two ounces of whiskey. Ounce of cider. Ice. And give it a stir. Serve. What do you want? Hard biscuit stew. I can do that for you. I'll be back in a second. Already have some made. There you go. How do you like that? What do you want? Whiskey sour? We can make you one of those. Can I interest you in a meal as well? These whiskey sours are strong, aren't they? They use a lot of whiskey. Ice. Done. Money. 67 cents. Is that a tip or do they pay you anyway? Oh yes, you enjoyed that. Hey! Just drop the glass on the floor. What's going on here? What are oh, they're fighting! We've got a bar fight! No, beat the, beat the guy in the hat or he just dropped my glass on the floor. That's it, knock him out. Come on, guy on the left, knock him out. Wow, this is, uh, this is not the most riveting fight in the world. Stop kicking each other, throw some hands. There you go, knocked him down, the winner. That's what you get for doing my glass. Take the beaten man to the doctor. Yeah, you lost that, didn't you? Hey, dropping my glass for that stupid fight. Yeah. Right. A clean up the places. What about the blood everywhere? All right, take him to the doctor. Where's the doctor again? He's near the mortician, isn't he? Mind your head. Ouch. I wonder what they were fighting over. It just kind of happened from nowhere. All right, doc. Where would you like him? Disease out of... Disease out break? I don't know what that says. You just want him in this uh, in this bathtub, do you? You do realise he's still alive. He's just knocked out. Just toss him in there. What do you gotta say, Doc? Henry Seymour. Specialised in removing bullets and fitting artificial teeth. Well, you're gonna have a good one there then. You find someone injured, bring them to me. Get them back on their feet. I can't pay you, but the town will be grateful. Okay. What's the point in me doing that, then? Where really it opens up missions or something? Who knows? Turn to the saloon and your customers. I'll do more than that. I've got to clean this blood up. Uh, what is it? Tab? Get the rag out. Unbelievable. Blood everywhere. There's a lot of blood here for what was a few punches and kicks. The guy murdered upstairs didn't have this much blood. Be with you in a second. Uh, what do we do with that? Do we throw the hats away? Apparently so. Back to our hands. Who's this guy? Whoa, check the glasses out. Were you in the Matrix? You feel like you've come from a different time. You don't, you don't belong here with glasses like that. Cassidy. Dreams come true. I don't think this is the tower where dreams come true, but if you say so. Hidden treasure. Let's hope there is some hidden treasure. Oh, you're a gold prospector. Ah, oh, I see. Pay me a visit and I can help. Ooh, so we can go gold mining. Nice, you've got a machine for it. I just need to fix it. Okay. So you want a gin cocktail. 
Okay, we can make you a gin cocktail. Until my machine starts producing, you can't... You don't have any money. We'll go and fix your sluice then. What are you wasting all your time for drinking? You've got a special gift for me in the future. Oh, yeah. I know how those things go. Special gift for me in the future. You'll probably give me nothing. Two ounces of gin. This is a big drink to give away for free, isn't it? One tablespoon of sugar syrup. How do you, uh... How do you measure a tablespoon? Oh, it just does it. Okay. Two dashes of bitter. One dash, two dash. That's a lot of bitter for two dashes, isn't it? Slice of lemon. Ice. Mix it. Enjoy, but I want to see some of that gold. You've got your youth back. We'll go and fix your machine. Each blueberry resident has his or her own favourite drink. I hope we don't have to remember those. Oh, here he is. Double use back. Let's just go and meet him at the barn. What's this? $10,000 reward. Wanted dead or alive, the notorious outlaw. Is that the guy we're talking to? Is that W? No, it's not, is it? We can grab that poster there. Hmm, interesting. We'll keep that for ourselves. $10,000 reward. Where we got to go over there somewhere? It's a lot of area to this. Like, it feels like a big map, even though it's probably limited. I bet there's a, a wall or something over there, but... What are we doing in here, W? How's business going? Not too bad, not too bad. Can't complain. Duh. Same as always. There's a wagon here. And the dead body, we won't even talk about. There's a dead body. Oh, of course there's a dead body. You stop killing people. Dismantle stolen carts and make profit from it. Oh. This is like Red Dead Redemption 2 then. We just go and drop them off at the fence or whatever. And they break them down. Dismantle, so... Okay. So... I need to break that down for you while you keep watch, is the gist of that conversation. And there is a dead body here for us to somehow get rid of. I don't know why I'm having to do all this. Do you not have any other friends to help you with this? I have customers to serve. Whoa, that was a bit dusty. This guy is lethal with his crowbar. That. Pick up the wheel. Hide it in the haystack. That's it. Chests usually contain treasures. Okay, there's a chest here. Some money on the floor as well. Let's grab that. Oh, there's loads of money on the floor. Look at this. It's only like 10 cents each one, but... it's a lot of money back then. Wow, there's a lot of cash on this floor. This must have all come out of the car. I don't actually know if we need money for anything other than the bar. We've got $16.55 at the moment. We're not exactly uh, killing it, are we? Because It's a lot of money, but it's not a lot of money at the same time when you've got to keep buying supplies of it. Is that it? Is that all of it? I think that's all of it. Alright, what's in here then? Wooden box. Open. Ooh! Tool cache. Open the letter. Cordell. You remember the overzealous recruiter, Hank Custer? Yes, the one who boasted about. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, a despicable character. Da -da 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 -da. Urge you to assess his performance. Sincerely, Sergeant. Okay, so he's... So somebody's coming here then. Okay. What's this? Hundred dollars. We'll take that. Hundred dollars. We have a problem. According to this letter, the sheriff is on his way to town. So that's who it was. Seems the guy was here sent to assess the situation. Okay, we've got to be extra cautious now. 
So the sheriff is here. We need to move this body to the mortician. But we need to be careful about it because the sheriff will see us. What's the betting the sh Oh, this- wait, 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 wait. Why has this guy got a sheriff's badge on? So this was the guy who was sent here. Oh, that's his case then. I see. So this is the guy who was sent here as lookout to see what the town is like before the sheriff arrives. So he's sheriff's deputy. Not anymore. Or if the sheriff sees us with this guy, I don't know. What, is the, what are the odds of the sheriff being around this corner somewhere? Let's go the long way around. See if we can beat the game just in case. If we get caught with this guy, that's it, isn't it? Game over. I don't see anybody. Quickly, put him in the box, put him in the box. Wasn't me, wasn't me. I can hear a train. I have no idea what W is doing, I just get told to move the bodies. I heard the train. Iron train. The sound of the railway carries many meanings and signifies various events, opportunities in the town, arrival of new residents, fresh goods. Nice. Is that the sheriff then? Anybody else? No? Okay. Yeah, that's the sheriff then. Howdy, Sheriff. What can I do you for? Am I the reason you ended up here? I, I don't think so. The rumours reached the authority of the sound sign to thrive. I think those rumours are wrong. This is not a thriving town. The sooner I see this town is peaceful, the quicker I can get on. So he's just here for a promotion then. Yeah, we're not gonna we're not gonna interfere with your work, sir. You carry on doing what you're doing. Prepare a drink for the sheriff. No recipe selected. Uh, what would the sheriff like then? He's probably kind of a whiskey guy. What about a stone fence? A true classic. This drink is probably the actual same. Do you think he'll? Yeah, he's gonna like that, isn't he? A lot, we've had a lot of orders for stone fences, so let's 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 try that. So we want two ounces of whiskey, one ounce of cider, ice. Oops, not bitter. Ice. If we get the sheriff drunk, maybe he'll be on our side. He won't be able to give us any uh, any problems if we get him drunk. He won't be able to do anything. Did you know I could throw you in jail for what you just served me? Disgusting. Well, everybody else likes it. What a picky guy. Yeah, I won't stir up any trouble, but if you insult my drinks again, Sheriff. Close the saloon. And start customization. Ooh. Close. Blueberry Saloon is at your service. The decoration tab at the checkout store and buy furnishings you want and can afford. But we've got $117. It depends how much you charge for them. Approach the catch register and purchase three new items. Okay. I mean, we could do with more than three, I reckon. This place is a bit dreary. Um, decoration. Here we go. Chairs. We don't really need any more chairs, do we? Tables. Nobody sits at the tables. Ah. Ooh, that's a nice drinks cabinet. Only five dollars as well. Ornaments. We we'll just buy anything then. Well, not anything because most of it's locked. But I don't know what I want here. Lights. Can't buy anything else yet anyway. From those things. I don't know what to buy. Let's Let's buy a new table then. And a couple of nice A couple of nice chairs. 
Oh, three new tables. Oh, my bad. Okay, so we just wasted some money then. So we need three new tables. We've got one table. Um, we'll have another two of those then. Use customization menu. Press O on the chosen objects. Okay. So that's... Oh, so we can swap these tables out. Oh, okay. So we can swap them out for what we bought. Nice. That looks a lot better as well. And then you can do unusual colours. Quite like it the way it is, to be honest with you. Let's just change these to the tables, then let's change them to the good tables. Can we get rid of our used tables? Does the game just do that for you? Nice. We've got a chair we don't need. Is that it? I think that's I think that's the game. Congratulations. We have uh, completed the demo. You know what? I quite enjoyed that, actually. I think there's a few little... Um, things that could be improved on and but that's just you know just normal game stuff really not not uh, I haven't really got any ideas but yeah I enjoyed that I think uh, I'll be interested to see where it goes like are there going to be guests upstairs in the hotel rooms do we have to look after those as well can we get some employees to help serve at the bar can we get like somebody to play the piano things like that make it a thriving place but in terms of just like serving the drinks and the food and stuff, it's all quite good and straightforward. At least you know what you're doing, the menu in the corner. It seems to be quite a backstory with this W character and some other things to do around town. Maybe some gold mining and stuff like that. So there could be some fun things to do here. So wasn't too bad at all. If you have enjoyed the video, make sure you leave it a like. Wish this is game if you fancy checking it out yourself as well. And if you give them some feedback as well, you can even win a game key. So that's... Uh, might be worth a go anyway um yeah so give this video a like if you enjoyed it and i will see you for another video very soon